Fight for Faithers, welcome today. Appreciate you just being a part of our quick five-minute devotions. Today we're going to look at um, this amazing disciple of Paul. His name is Barnabas. Barnabas uh, was born on the island of Cyprus. In fact, he his real name is Joseph, curiously enough. But he became one of the earliest Christians in the book of Acts. As, the, as Jesus went back to heaven, Pentecost happened where um, this amazing um, conversion, over 3,000 people being saved in one day. I wonder if he was part of that early crew, but certainly he was one of the earliest. And he immediately was recognized as an, a disciple. Uh, and then right after that, he became known as the Apostle Barnabas in Acts 14. So you can call it raising through the ranks or whatever it may be, but there was something about Barnabas's character that people noticed. He would uh, accompany Paul on several of his missionary journeys, and certainly evangelism was a part of uh, what he and Paul and others did. But his main focus was to kind of defend the Gentile converts against these Judaizers, these Jews that uh, wanted to place heavy burdens on these new Gentile believers and saying they had to do and act like a Jew to be a Christian. That's kind of interesting. And so he became one of the uh, members of the important Council of Jerusalem in Acts 15, which really talked about all these Gentiles coming to know Jesus. What are we going to do with them? And what kind of rules should we have them be a part of? Um, and he uh, helped direct that council, I think, into some wise decisions. And again, ushered in this new wave of Gentile Christians and kind of showed them how the new way was going to be being a Christian. What we know of Barnabas is two major things, and they have to do with his character. In Acts 11... He is described as being a good man. He's also described as being someone full of the Holy Spirit and faith. Secondly, his other claim to fame in terms of his character was that he had a nickname. You know what that one is? Son of Encouragement. Have you ever been around a person who had the true gift of encouragement? I mean, just being with these people, you are uplifted. You walk away from the conversation, maybe you came into it kind of sour or uh, bummed out or whatever, and you walked away just like, man, I'm inspired. I'm a, I feel so good about being around these people. And, and you even forget about the situation you, you were dealing with, right? This is who Barnabas was. I remember an elder at our past church, and... Um, he had this gift. There was just no doubt about it. He had an infectious smile, and his personality was just magnetic. You felt like when you were talking with him, you were the only one in the room. And, and he wrote, he constantly would hand you a note of, of encouragement that he had uh, thought, thought about you, and he gave it to you. Um, it, and when you walked away from the conversations with him, you felt lifted up. For most of us, we have to work at it. But for those that have it, man, it's so cool to be around them. Barnabas, that's who he was. He was synonymous with the word encouragement, his name. Folks, for us, let's learn to be godly men and godly women, full of the Holy Spirit, and provide a good word, a positive word for someone today encourage them on purpose church wouldn't that be awesome whether they're christian or not have a positive word on your tongue today thanks church for listening we'll see you again real soon and let's be a barnabas to others today